Hey everybody, welcome back. It's Susan Lynn, Psychic Medium. Thank you for joining me today. I really appreciate it. Thank you to all the new subscribers. I really appreciate you. And I really, really appreciate all of you previous subscribers as well. So welcome back. Thank you. Thank you. Listen, I'm excited today. I am excited. I'm gleeful. I'm gleeful because you want to know why? Mitch McConnell is going down. He's going down, you guys. Go back to my videos. I was going to do a montage and I still may, who knows, but of all the times, all my faces going, Mitch McConnell's going down, Mitch McConnell's going down, Mitch McConnell's going down because of his wife. His wife is being investigated right now and it's just the beginning. It's just the beginning, you guys, and he knows it. So he's already talking among his Republican peers about stepping down. Yes. I mean, I just want to do a victory dance. If the room was bigger, I would get up and dance and dance and dance. Oh, damn, maybe I'll just go ahead and dance. I don't know. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. I'm so excited. Okay, anyway, here's the thing. Here's the thing. The thing he's trying to do, because he's a slithering snake, is because he's, he's going into the Kentucky State Legislature and he's trying to change the rules within the Kentucky State law to allow the, I guess, prevailing party of the person stepping down, so in this case it would be the Republican Party, to, um, to appoint anyone, to, re, re, to appoint the replacement, right? Right now we have a Democratic governor in Kentucky, and the way the law stands right now, the Democratic governor Bashir should be able to appoint McConnell's replacement, but he's trying to gerrymander that the way he gerrymanders everything else. Um, and I have to tell you um, that I pulled these cards. I have this really cool deck that's really fun, and it's called the Rebel Deck, the Oracle with an Attitude, and it just it says zero filter, zero Fs, and all fun. They're not kidding. So I pulled a little card for Mitchie, and what I got was, you look like a S show. Can you see that, folks? Focus, focus. There. Okay, here's the back side. You're a hot mess. Fact. Clean yourself up. It should just say resign. Like I should just take a magic marker and just write resign. You know, the other one that I got because two fell out. Very, very apropos for him. You're being shady. Not shoddy, shady. Focus. Okay, there it goes. Focus. It focused. Okay, you're being shady. And um, <laughs> this, is, this is it right here, guys. This is it. Watch out. You know, it's going to get ugly. Watch out. It's going to get ugly. This is the card for Mitch McConnell. Boom. It's going to get ugly, Mitchie. We're coming for you. And I, for one, am gleeful. I'm going to go online and order all kinds of glitter cannons. And when he has to resign, and I actually don't even care. I just need him to resign. I'm going to explode glitter cannons all over this room on YouTube because that is how happy I'm going to be. Listen, I know it seems it seems uh, crazy because we got a new president and we got half of a Senate um, and you think we would be getting things done and today we did get Biden's bill. We did get the bill passed. Of course, it doesn't have everything we want and of course, not one single Republican voted for it. Okay, but I feel like Biden needs a little bit more credit than he's getting. I really do. Go ahead and at me or hate me or whatever you want to do. But listen, the man took over the helm of the Titanic. And so far, we haven't sunk yet. So he's not doing so bad. But what is going to happen, what is being asked of Joe Biden is that he become FDR. Now, he doesn't know this yet. Don't tell him because he doesn't know it yet. He still thinks he's the captain of the SS Minnow or the Titanic or something, right? Um, but the truth of the matter is, is before it's over and, and more than likely before this year is over, he's going to have to turn into FDR. He's going to have to stand up on his own and say, this isn't right. 
and I don't care about Congress. I'm going to do everything within my presidential powers to start getting stuff done. Now, as the guides said, and the guides did say that Elaine Chao was going to bring Mitch McConnell down. Did I mention that already? Just in case I didn't mention that. Anyway, the guides did say that McConnell, that, oh God, please no more McConnell, that Biden was going to use the War Powers Act to make more vaccines. And he has done that. He has uh, gotten um, Merck, I think, to go ahead and make vaccines um, instead of, because their vaccine kind of flamed out. So they're going to actually go uh, and actually be a, a producer of vaccines, which is fantastic. So he is doing things. He's trying his best. My God, we don't have one freaking Republican voting for anything. It's a heavy lift, right? It's a, and, and then we have a, a couple of screwy Democrats it's a heavy lift, okay? But he is going to. He's going to rise to the occasion. He is going to come in and help Americans. He's What his role is, his, his contract, really his sole contract, because apparently he was supposed to win this presidency. He wasn't supposed to win any other presidency. He was supposed to win this presidency. And he's supposed to transform himself. That's part of our sole contract is always to transform, is to become something bigger and better than we were. That's our, that's part of our contract usually. And so he's going to have to transform himself out of this centrist and into a leader, right? If you're the leader of, of, of a troop, of a group of uh, soldiers on a war zone, and you just say, who wants to go uh, fire at these people? Well, you know, I'm not going to raise my hand. So, you know, you really have to be a leader and you have to say, this is what we're doing. You know, so that's what he's going to be asked to do. And I believe that's what he's going to do. That's what he's here on earth to do. And that's what he's going to do. So that's awesome. I wanted to, uh, briefly, I had the idea, the guides try to talk to me, but I'm too busy talking a lot of times. And they're like, if she would just shut up, we could probably say something. So let me see if I can get that back. Cause they were talking at the same time. Um, I want to talk about, um, Gosh, you guys, part of the problem is, part of the problem is Texas is, is hitting bottom. You know, the guides, my spirit guides have talked about hitting bottom a bunch of times. We have to hit bottom before we can actually start to fix things. Now, if you think we have hit bottom, then you're wrong because Texas found another bottom and they're trying to get to the bottom of that bottom right now by not... Uh, not mandating mask, you know, people wearing masks when they're out and about. So we are going to have a really fun spring break here where a police officer friend of mine put on Facebook, just because you think you don't want to wear a mask if you're on private property, as in a business, and they ask you to wear a mask and you don't wear a mask, I'm going to arrest you and you're going to spend spring break in, <laughs> in, in jail. So, you know, we got that going for us, you know. I mean, you know Texans, they're going to be like, go ahead and arrest me, and then they're going to get arrested. So it should be really newsworthy. We should really be spending a lot of time on the news uh, in the next couple of weeks, Texas in general. So, but what really is going to happen is this is really going to hurt Texas's brand, right? Texas has a brand throughout the world. Believe it or not, everybody knows Texas. Everybody knows Texas as big and wild and whatever. And now they really just think Texas is kind of stupid, you know, so it's really hurting our brand, which is also going to hurt Texas's ability to bring in big businesses. Um, you know, Silicon Valley wanted to relocate to Austin, Texas, and I know that they're going to be rethinking this. Um, it, you know, it's just you need leadership that has sense, that really stands up for its people, that, you know, protects their employees, that their employees want to work in that state, right? Um, that's, it's all about competition. The best employees want to work in a state that they like. And if, uh, if the state is trying to kill you, you're probably not going to want to work there if you have a choice. Right, so this is really gonna hurt Texas. I do see Beto O'Rourke uh, making a run for governor. I know that he, I know, I know psychically anyway that he was offered um, a bit of a of a job in the administration in the Biden administration, and and he he's just got Texas in his blood, and, and he just can't leave. 
He can't leave while Texans are suffering. So he's going to give it another another run. Um, he really wants to run for governor. Um, and that's the next race coming up. So I think he will run for governor. But um, we'll see this as I hate doing this online because I'm not seeing good things for Beto as governor. We have a little ways out before the governorship is... is um, is voted on but i'm not seeing good things i mean i'm a beto supporter so don't please hate me on that either i'm a beto supporter i'm telling you what i see right now i'm not see it doesn't look good for him i do see him senate i see him in the senate i don't see him as governor you guys um so that's very interesting so he may in that case he may decide to take an administration role you know a biden administration role because he in his thinking when i'm in his energy in his thinking he is thinking that he could affect wider change, right, in the Biden administration. You know, like Pete Buttigieg is, is Secretary of Transportation. That's that's a big deal, right? So if, um, if he could get a job in the administration, he could really affect bigger change that would impact Texas. But obviously, you know, if you're here in Texas, you're really affecting the people of Texas. That's where he gets hung up at. But I do see him in the Senate. I see him as a senator. Boy, I'm really going to be bummed if he runs for governor and loses again. That's just, man, that's going to be, I'm not going to be able to handle that. I, I, I'm really not going to, I'm going to have a meltdown. I went from being really happy to being really sad. <laughs> Jesus. Gosh, you know, you'd think my guides would just tell me whatever I wanted to hear, right? I mean, why not? Well, they don't do that with salad, so why would they do that with Beto? Anyway, okay, never mind. Moving on, because that's very, very depressing for me. I just wanted to say one thing that was really funny that happened today. Um, today, I have had interesting readings. I've had to remove some very bad attachments to someone that looked like a pterodactyl and they had their claws. So listen, attachments happen right here between your shoulder blades in the back under your neck. They, if you feel, if you have scratches there, literally I get real actual scratches. Um, or if you feel something like, I remember going to a psychic once before I was awoke and I said, I got something between my shoulders. I can feel it, but I don't know what it is. And she's like, hold on, I'm gonna pulled it off, wrestled it to the ground, you know, bah, 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 you know, so anyway, listen, it doesn't have to be that dramatic, but what can happen is, is if you feel something back here. What you can do, and this, and, and uh, I'm gonna tell you guys really and truly and honestly, when she stood up and took this thing off of my back, it was, I, I had to do everything I could to not laugh. I really did, because it looked funny. I was like, what is she doing? You know what I mean? It looked, it just looked funny to my very untrained eye. It looked funny to me. So if you laugh at this, I get it. I totally get it. But I don't think you will, because I think this crowd is much smarter than me. So if you have something, if you have an attachment back here, one thing you can do is you can reach behind you like this and you can grab it and you can just go whoosh, and you can just throw it. Just throw it over your head, okay? So you just grab it. And then what I'm doing behind my head is I'm grabbing it like this, okay? And then I'm throwing it, okay? That's simple. You're just going to grab the energy. Well, how does it feel? Does it feel this big? Does it feel small? Is it right in your skin? Is it really big? Where is it? Feel the energy. Move your hands around. Feel it. You know, where is that sucker? Okay, he's right here. Grab it. You know, now my hands are under instead of like this, because this, I feel like I need to go under. I'm going to grab and I'm going to throw it. So that's one way to get rid of that. Okay, now, let's say, uh-oh, we're under attack. Let's say that the sucker gets up and, and you know, or you're afraid he's going to get up and come back around and get you again. So you can call in Archangel Michael at the same time that you get rid of it. You know, you can call in Archangel Michael and you can have him come and catch it. You know, you can, hey, if you're sporty, you know, if you're a sporty kind of person, you can be like, catch this Archangel Michael. You know what I mean? And throw it at him. You know what I mean? Why not? Have some fun with it. You know, life is too serious. So anyway... You can do that, or you can just have Archangel Michael come in and remove it for you. You know, you can just have Archangel Michael come in and get rid of it. However you want to do is fine. But listen, here's the thing. Um, 
there's there's going to be a wound where that attachment was and this is something that a lot of people a step that people miss okay so you want to call in the special healing angels or whatever you want whoever they could be sprites whatever energy you resonate with okay call them in and have them come in and heal that okay because you're going to have divots in your energy body you know we haven't an energy body around our body okay so you're going to have divots and you want to heal those because if you don't those wounds are attractive they're attractive for other kinds of entities it's almost like how a dog licks its own wound right it's it, it so energies can sense there's a wound there and they're attracted to it so you want to heal it and then you want to protect it now if you get a lot of attachments between your shoulder blades you can do like i did because i got really sick and tired of it and i just kind of put energetically speaking i put a metal um a metal plate back here right between my shoulder blades and so this metal plate is is first of all it protects they can't get in to your skin they can't they can't hook in like that so so they're you know like this they're just kind of slide off of it so it's a protective thing okay and this is all done with your imagination everything is done with your imagination even mediumship is done with your imagination it's in your mind's eye okay you just see that happening okay and then the other thing that happened today that i thought was so cute because i've never seen this before and, and you know every time i do a reading i see something new which is what i love i love that because um you know everything is new right this person's energy is new to me the per the the energy that's a, a, a affecting them is new to them so you know it's just really fun but um today during a mediumship reading i had a woman come in and she said that and she explained that she was sorry to her friend her friend was my client okay the woman on the other side said i'm so sorry i accidentally popped into your house the other day and you kind of saw me and i'm sorry and my client said well my god why would you be sorry i was so happy to see you she said well you know i'm kind of new over here and all i did was think about you and then i went from thinking about you to being in your house in your living room and i thought oh my gosh i didn't mean to be in the living room i didn't even mean to go here i just thought about you and i didn't realize that would transport me she said number one number two for christ's sakes i wouldn't have gone in your living room i would have been outside your door knocking on it like a civilized human being <laughs> that was hilarious so she was mortified that she had accidentally teletransported herself to her friend's living room and instead she would have been in you know on the other side of the door which brings up right the knocking that we hear sometimes right she is that kind of spirit on the other side that would have been knock 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 is anybody there you know so if you out there hear those knock knock knocks it's one of your friends that's that's polite enough to just materialize in your bedroom or in your bathroom or in your living room so you know answer the door because they're waiting <laughs> they're waiting at the door politely for you to let them in so anyway this is going to be a quick video i just wanted to share those things with you mainly i was gleefully happy that mitch mcconnell is going down you know the guides talked about the net tightening and the net is tightening also trump it was announced today that um georgia prosecutor is going to be looking into uh, racketeering charges which if you saw the video where i put rico is his name oh rico is racketeering that's the acronym for the racketeering so rico is his name oh is still relevant and um and and it's all coming in the net is coming in it's just it's just tightening 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 it's gonna squeeze all those big fat people <laughs> those criminals in this net and they're gonna be squished cheek to jaw and i mean cheek is in butt cheek to jaw it's going to be fantastic just see that net coming together and the legs sticking out the net of the holes and the face against the butt and just vision that that's that's my gift to you today is a visual like that of flynn and trump and jared and don jr and um rudy 
and uh, Josh Bobert and, and all, I mean Josh Bobert I just added two people together Josh and Bobert and uh, Marjorie Taylor Green all these people um, and that guy that Jim guy that just has irritated me to no end recently they're all gonna you know they're all gonna get caught in this net the net is closing you know it's closing so there's a lot to celebrate here you guys a lot to celebrate Thank you again for watching. I really appreciate it. If you have not subscribed, please do so. It is free, 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 free. And if you go to your uh, little settings, you can make your subscriptions private so nobody has to know that you subscribe to a psychic medium that talks to her guides about her diet quite often and has, you know, cojones and salad bowls as well. So anyway, I also want to say that this is for entertainment purposes only. The reason we say that, folks, is because YouTube will, they do monitor these channels. They listen to all the words. They literally scrub all the words. And um, if they hear certain words, then they think it may be a little too this or that. And then they may think about doing this or that to your channel. So that's why we say this is for entertainment purposes only. We all know it's the dang truth. Anyway, you guys have a great day and we'll talk soon.